Hello everybody. Today I'm going to make a card for a friend of mine who's going through a hard time. They're feeling a little bit um, discouraged. So I thought it would be fun to make like a poker type theme card and on the inside have it say my money's on you or I'm betting on you or something like that just to you know let her know that I support her um, and I believe in her in a fun way. I'm going to be using Renea foil paper. I'm going to do a really fun technique with this. It's actually my favorite technique to use with this type of paper. The ghost ink to do that technique. Um, my cardstock is going to be basic craft because it lends itself well to this and I want the background to be really basic. I don't want it to be um, competing for attention. And then I have these poker chips came in this. My girlfriend gave me. They are original. They're like the first poker chips ever. And she actually um, <laughs> bought it bought it at like an antique store and, and she bought it for the container that it was in. She wanted the drawer to use it to sort. And the, the antique guy said, oh no, the value is in the poker chips. So I think it's really cool when you can pull things in like that. Um, that have some, you know, that there's a story behind. So these are like the first poker chips that were ever manufactured and used. So that's pretty cool. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I need to do is I'm gonna, I'm going to emboss um, these three cards. And you probably, I don't know how well you can see them. They're from the Tim Holtz Alteration Civix line and it's um, Sizzix. It's a king, a queen, and a jack. So I'm going to emboss these and in my cuddle bug first. These all look pretty cool as they are, um, but I'm just going to go and amp it up a little bit more. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over each of these images with my Rhenea Ghost Ink. And this Ghost Ink will lift this color up to reveal beautiful silver, the silver underlay on this. And it only works with this type of paper. All right, so once you apply it, you're gonna wanna go over it with a heat gun. Just a little bit. All right, you really only need some water on a paper towel, but I have wipes right next to me. They're just baby wipes, and I'm gonna use that to remove the ink. And what this does is it actually lifts the color and gives it a really beautiful effect. The darker the color, the more you can see that silver undertone. The lighter the color, the less you see it. It's a little bit more subtle. And you just keep rubbing until you get your desired effect. All right, I'm gonna do my jack next. our card together. I haven't even laid this out, so we'll just kind of play as we go. Just thinking something along the lines of 
Oh, maybe it'd be better if it was across this way. Well, I'm just going to start laying it out. I'm going to use um, Multi Grip 360 to place my cards down. I'm actually going to unfold this for now. Now, if you wanted to have it slap on and hold permanently, you'd want to let this set up for a couple minutes, but I don't. I want to have it kind of move around a little bit. So I'm just going to place it, but once it dries, it won't move at all. Love it. cap images that I just thought would be really adorable just in the center right there with one of these um, little epoxy stickers over the top. So I thought the one that would look good in the middle is this gorgeous little All right, so that's how my ink the edges and I punched it out. That was those again were images from Calico Collage. Just gonna put a little bit of glue down this multi-grip 360 super tight down. In the center of that, I'm gonna place this just right there, rub it around a little. Get nice coverage like so, and then to finish it off, I'm gonna place one of these epoxy stickers over. Now, if you don't have epoxy stickers and you have glossy accents or Dimensional Magic by Mod Podge, that would totally work as well. You would just have to let it dry. Okay, I love this. Is that not the coolest thing ever? Check this card out, you guys. So there you go. Isn't that adorable? I absolutely love it. If you haven't subscribed, please go ahead and do so. Just slap that button. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Feel free to share. And also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter under Bets Golden and my blog, scrappycafe.blogspot.com. All right, guys, until next time, happy crafting. Oh, and all the links to get the Rhenea foil paper, the ghost ink, and then also Calico Collage, because I did use this, are going to be in the description box below. So make sure you check them out if you're interested. Bye.